Okay, so we are rounding up day six. Changing the scenery a little bit. We are in a Walmart in the States. So, um, let's get breakfast again. I'll make it quick today. Let's get breakfast again. Uh, for lunch, we went out to Applebee's because we fancy like Applebee's. Um, I ended up taking, I think, some kind of whiskey burger, I think it's called, with bacon and the french fries. Ate half the burger. No bacon. I'm not a big fan of bacon. And I uh, gave away all the fries and half of the burger. So that took care of lunch. I don't feel too bad about it. Uh, dinner, <laughs> not so good. Went to a Texas Roadhouse. I'm probably making you guys dizzy. Went to Texas Roadhouse, and that is delicious. Uh, ended up doing a lot of damage there. So it wasn't so good on that end. Um, ended up eating some appetizers and uh, half my entree. I probably ate a good, oof, at least 12 to twelve to 1500 calories in that meal by itself. And I feel terrible. I'm full again and bloated and all that, the whole thing. Ugh. So we're gonna go walk it off a little bit tonight. And uh, it was a mistake, but uh, overall, it's still a good day. I'm still under my calories and whatnot, so it's not an issue on that end. Um, and I'm starting to think about it. It's like Zenda. I don't know if you need to take that permanently. You know, because you take that the first month, and it kind of helps you curve your appetite. So if you put some effort into it, you can kind of help shrink your stomach, I guess, the way it's, I, would, I would say it, so that you're not as hungry anymore. And after a month, I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to need it anymore. To be honest, if, as long as I'm on the right path, I think I might be able to continue on my own. But I don't know. We'll see. I didn't weigh myself. I don't have a scale. And uh, we'll keep going. I'll let you guys know whenever I get back home.